Hi everyone, my name is Mehdi Hafizi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to boot UC Linux on NEOS2 processor with MMU. First of all, please open Quartus2 software and create a new project. I already did that, so I opened my recent project. There is a PLL inside the design that created 15 MHz clock for the system, main system and uh, 15 MHz for SDRAM clock with minus 60 degree phase shift. 15 MHz with no phase shift and 15 MHz with minus 60 phase shift for SDRAM clock. I open QCIS to look at the inside of the design. My source clock is 15 megahertz. There is a CPU, on chip memory for MMU, SDRAM for the main mem mem memory, JTAG and timer, and UR for console. Let's take a look at the new super processor. And if select the new to fast with hardware multiplication type embedded multiplier reset vector and exception vector or SDRAM and I've enabled MMU with my RAM underlying MMU which is an on-chip memory RAM MMU is 1024 bytes it's, it have dual port access and I've initialed its memory content. Its first uh, output is connected to the data master and the second port is connected to the instruction master. Uh, my SDRAM, both of my SDRAM connection is connected to the data and instruction master. JTAG is default, it is with default settings, timer, is one millisecond and it have to be full feature. Please note that the timer should have a URQ number zero. It's very important. UART is um, for console and it has a fixed baud rate. That's all with the QCIS design. Now let's take a look at the Linux design that we have to build the kernel. Let's go back to my directory to copy the .svpc info file. I install Fedora 18 64 bit version. Login as the root. You may need to download this package using this command. These four packages is required to build the kernel. And uh, after you have downloaded these four packages, uh, please use this command and ensure that you get these outputs. You also need to install Java to run this command and that I will explain later. Okay. Open up a terminal window and uh, I go to the directory that I download these packages. You can see that I already download Linux, toolchain, uh, distribution, and the tools. 
change directory to tools and type make to compile the SPOPC to DTS. I already did that so I don't do that. Uh, type java jar SPOPC Here is my data subpoena info file. I copy the main directory. Click choose file to choose the data subpoena info file. It shows some info about the clock, system memory, and UART. Go to the board info and select CPU and SD RAM and click apply. Console TTY AL0 means the JTAG uh, main UART is the console port and if you type J here it means that JTAG UART is the console port. Alright, go to the output window and select DTS and save as to the directory that you wish like. Okay. Now here is our .dts file that requires UC Linux in UC Linux that uh, hash this. You also need some library to install. I list that package that you need to install using yum or other tools. Here is the package. I personally didn't install this package because it doesn't exist, I think. And if you are using 64-bit Linux, you need this package also. change directory to uc linux dist and type make menu config it opened this GUI hit enter and you can select the vendor altera and select the ultra product news to exit enter the kernel and make sure that libc is none. Uh, I personally select customize kernel setting. Hit exit, exit, yes. Alright. And uh, in the new GUI version, in the GUI display, sorry, uh, you can customize your kernel, kernel features, and so on. Platform option. All right, go to the platform option and uh, type the memory base address in your. Uh, you can find this base address in your Crisis Design. My SDRAM base address is set 0x0, zero zero, which is a 0x. Uh, I fixed the address because uh, I, I don't want to change when I hit assign base addresses. Let's go back to the Fedora and hit OK. And in the device tree option, uh, select compile and link device tree into the kernel. And in the blue option, Enter the full path to the .dts file that you created and hit OK. 
I go back to that device. In this section, you can choose your console, which is Ultra, and I enable also Ultra UART console support. You also need to add the timer frequency in the kernel feature, timer frequency. And hit exit, exit and save the file. And type make to make the kernel. Oops, I already missed to add the path. I hit control C. You need to add this pad in the Linux machine. So the pad to news to tool chain. Is in this directory. Sorry, tool chain. I think MMU. Okay, this message shows us that Z image is ready and we can run our kernel. The image is in distribution folder Linux Arc needs to be boot Z image. I copy the Z image to my flash disk. Also create a that zip file, and you don't have to do that. Okay, Z image is the flash memory. I copy the Z image to the folder that I can use. I also cop need to copy the dot sof file Type JTAG config to con to make sure that you are already connected to the processor. Change my directory to the path that my other file exists.
so the file is downloaded and it's okay I need to open my personal to see the outputs You need to specify dash G to start the software per soft processor, which is news to processor uh, to start. Oh, I'm sorry. And wait to the download process to be completed. Dash C1 means that I want to use the G USB blaster on port 1. Port 2 is for the hacker terminal windows, which is a USB to serial COM port cable. Okay, now that our download verify, type news to terminal to see the terminal window oh, sorry I specify I have to specify the cable okay now you can see the Linux is booting up okay now you can see the user Linux logo we can do command like ls mink directory and so on. Now this was a tutorial on how to boot user Linux and news to with MMU and feel free to contact me if you have uh, any problem in doing this process and thanks for watching.